I have some amazing news to share with you guys. <laughs> Keep together, Dawn. <laughs> so beyond excited. Hey guys, I have some amazing news. I can't stop smiling. I'm so happy and I, I'm so thrilled to be able to tell you all that I've signed with Greenhouse Literary Agency. I have an agent, uh, two agents. I've signed with Polly Nolan and Sarah Davies of the Greenhouse Literary Agency and I couldn't be happier. I'm just over the moon. I can't stop smiling and my cheeks are really, really sore and I'm okay with it. I'm really happy with it. I started querying in the second week of January and agents started responding really fast. A couple of times agents requested my manuscript in less than a minute. I know, that actually happened. That does, doesn't happen. The publishing is slow, you guys. <laughs> Within four or five, four, four and a half weeks, I had my first offer of representation, which was amazing. I got the email, opened it, and burst out crying and didn't stop crying for like five full minutes. That's a long time to cry. <laughs> I spoke to the agent, she was absolutely lovely. I felt so amazed and grateful that this agent that I was speaking to loved my book and wanted to represent me. It was astonishing. And then another agent wanted to talk to me and loved my book and was so great to get on with and wanted to represent me. And I was just suddenly in a situation where I had two agents wanting to represent me and I just didn't know what to do. I'd never been in this situation before. And then another agent wanted to represent me and another one 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 and another one. And, another one. and I was suddenly faced with 10 choices, 10 agents who offered to represent me and my book. It was, there are no words. It was amazing. And it was also a bit like, oh wow, how do I make this choice? Now, I think I told you in my last video that I was going away on a writing retreat. That was last week. And all of this was happening during my writing retreat. So thankfully I had Wi-Fi so I could sort of keep in touch with all these agents and schedule phone calls. But it was a case of back-to-back -back phone calls with agents over several days. And I was just disrupting the writing retreat. So I had to leave early for a really great reason. It was like the best reason to have to cut a writing retreat short. Thank you, Leah, for understanding. <laughs> I kept thinking, am I awake right now? Is this real? <laughs> and it was real and it's amazing. But then of course I was faced with this really difficult choice and I realized somewhere in the middle of this that I would have to say no to nine agents, nine amazing people, nine people who loved my work, who had taken time to read, sometimes overnight, sometimes in a day, my entire manuscript. Agents who had dropped everything, literally, to read for me because I had a deadline and I had to give an answer. And they all did it. This is the amazing thing. They all did it, which was amazing. Eventually I spoke to Sarah and Polly from the Greenhouse Literary Agency and I just felt really good after the call. They had both agreed to speak to me in the same day. They both were passionate and enthusiastic and knowledgeable about the industry. They had great ideas for my book, great editing suggestions. They had plans that I felt really positive about but more than that they were also really enthusiastic about all my future ideas for books. That is something that is so important. I just signed the agreement and I couldn't be happier and I'm so ecstatic and thrilled and and the work's not over. Edits start soon and I can't wait. That's my amazing news. It's been an amazing ride, an amazing journey and I'm so grateful and I can't wait and I hope that I'm lucky enough to share this story with you guys. It's scary and it's creepy and it's dark and I really hope you like it and I hope that I get the chance to share it with you guys. And that's my amazing news. See my cheeks, they won't stop smiling. Well, I hope you remember that I encouraged you myself. You did, you know. She told me. She did tell me. Well, I suppose you'll be wanting chocolate cake now, won't you? Oh, I love the chocolate cake. <laughs>
You have my permission to indulge. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.